So now let's see the program run. When I press the button this time, I'm not going to put my hand in front of the sensor. You'll notice that Kibo shook. That was because at that moment when Kibo was reading the program, it did not sense that something was near and therefore skipped the entire if loop and went straight to shake. Now let's run the program once more, but this time I'm going to put my hand in front of the sensor so that it senses something is near. You'll notice Kibo goes backwards and then shakes. Just like I told it to in my program, 